Now, unfortunately, Taylor seems to be plagued by gremlins in the last little bit, and you can see there's a kudu that is just staring at us at the moment. She's also wondering whether or not we pose a threat in these windy conditions. She's puffed up, she's looking, using those big ears to try and determine what's going on over all this rustling of trees and bushes and wind that's howling through towards her ears. Look how she's watching so intently. You can see that they're far more nervous when conditions are like this than they would be normally. You can imagine this is when big ears become a hindrance. The more the size of the ear, the bigger the size of the ear, should I say, not the more, I don't know why I said that. But the bigger the size of the ear, the harder it is for them to hear because of all the wind that's getting funneled in there and being trapped. She must be battling to hear what's going on at the moment. She's not moving at all. Now the rest of the herd is around. It's not just her by herself. It would be quite unusual to see a female kudu by herself. But the rest are just moving through those thickets in that area. Paula, you say I'm getting the evil eye. I am getting the evil eye from her. She's staring at me, making sure that I'm not bringing bad company. So sometimes these animals are quite used to the fact that the vehicles follow predators. And so they see a vehicle and they often just check us out and make sure that we're not... Like I say, bringing the bad company with us and bringing those that are not invited to the party. Oh, here comes a bit of sun, which will be welcome, I'm sure. Look at the nose also working. So cool. Roshni, you say they have such pretty lashes. Well, and they, they do have nice lashes, but I think definitely the lashes um, category winner must be the giraffe they have these big long beautiful lashes so I'm told according to ladies out there they all say that the giraffe have the best lashes oh, look at that Sun now that it's coming out how beautiful is that and those big orange ears and that coat is actually going a more golden color Jacqueline you say that they look as though they have a milk moustache. Well, yes, that little white marking around the mouth does actually look like that. I've never thought of it, but you're very right. You see, look at how she's watching. A little bird flew past and far more alert as that bird went. And there she goes. She departs the scene. She's done with me. Time to carry on and give the BDI to somebody else. Right, Senzo. I think let's carry on as well.